thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get to it in regards to what's been said in regards to the Erica Mena situation ship. I told y'all, these reality star issues, concerns, they go too far, they do too much, and it messes with your family issues, your family brand. Nobody should be calling anybody no monkey. Or no type of name. So let's listen in on what she had to say. Because it's just not okay. We get that parenting is parenting. We get that Safari has taken Erica Mena through. But when you go too far and throw insults and slurs, it's 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 too much. Taking off my earring, ready to tussle a little bit. and I kind of Well, I mean, I feel like that comes with, um, well, I know what I signed up for. Yeah. So I'm good. You know, yeah. I'm in a better space right now. So reality TV is it? It comes with it. You know what it, it? You know what the franchise is about. So it's okay for me. But it's worth your peace of mind. I have my peace of mind. You Nobody do. takes my peace of mind away from me. Mm-hmm. Spice, if somebody flipped the table at me, and <laughs> called me a monkey. Oh wow! I'd be, you know, taking off my earring, ready to tussle a little bit. And I kind of well, wanna... I mean, I feel like that comes with. Um, well, I know what I signed up for. Yeah. So I'm good. You know, yeah. I'm in a better space right now. So reality TV is it? It comes worth- with it. You know what it, it? You know what the franchise is about. So it's okay for me. But it's worth your peace of mind. I have my peace of mind. You Nobody do. takes my peace of mind away from me. Mm-hmm. Spice of some. So we're gonna listen to the next clip. She's rising above, which Spice normally does because she's focusing on brand careers you know she's come a long way she's come far she don't play about her career she don't now many people have said you know it's too bad that her whole family can't be with her whatever i think help fans she's getting help in regards to the raising of her children but um yeah let's get to the next clip someone's opinion of me does not value who i am and does not not because someone thinks something of me that doesn't mean that's who i am i'm the person that came up with colorism a few years ago i'm black and beautiful i'm now bleach proud i'm a color i've been done it said it all always reminding my melanated woman how beautiful they are to love themselves who they are like someone can't come and say a few words and that's gonna get me into a mood like no that doesn't define me i know who i am because someone's opinion of me does not value who i am and does not not because someone And it's sad that colorism is even an issue. We should all be loved and respected. We should all be treated as loving and kind individuals. They love to pin us against each other. They love it. They shade the darker. They shade, okay, you look matching like a bag. They shade the beautiful woman because she's beautiful. She can't help how she was raised by alleged light-skinned dad or light-skinned mom and she's light-skinned or you have a, a, a browner complexion to another browner complexion we all have you know feelings so it's a shame that the colorism is an issue but it is and that's the either sadder part that people feel a way about certain colors this person get a get a job this person can get this guy that person can get this guy then we have the weight issue so if we take a step back and realize certain shows allow certain people to get away with certain things that other people cannot get away with and that's the sad part that they love pinning us against each other they love accepting this and not accepting this erica had no right nor rhyme, nor reason to do what she's done. And this is the problematic part. I've heard somebody call somebody a monkey last week. 
Not a lot of people caught it. I caught it. I heard somebody calling somebody else a monkey last week. I caught it and I almost posted it. And it was like, that's not okay, but I ain't post it. They pr it probably will never get out because it was last week. And then we have this Erica Mena thing. And I don't know if the page is even talked about this Erica Mena and Spice thing. But it's like, I almost, I almost, I said, no, I'm not going to do it. But it's not okay to call a person an insult. Any type of insult. Let's get to the next clip. I don't think Erica said anything that we can listen to. But what was this? Everybody's talking about it. I wanted to do a clip about it. Let's see what this says. Um, fans react to Erica Mena and Ice Spice heated exchange after, um, during their lunch. Well wishes though. There's just so much going on and so much toxicity. We really have to focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be around people that's loving, kind, and respectful. These reality shows will have you missing a bag, get a bag, and then will they remove Erica? We'll see what happens. Will they remove her for a year or forever? We understand um, Safari's taking her through, but she he she should have saw how he treated Nikki. You got to really pay attention to a guy and how he treats the, the other girl, the first girl. Safari wanted Erica so bad that he finally got it. They finally got married. Then they had children. And then he's allegedly showing more love to another young lady that's not his woman. And then she came out and said that was just for TV. Well wishes. Let's get to the next topic. Of course, that's them talking and conversating. And then we're going to talk about uh, Christian Christian Rock. She's at her baby shower, having a good time. Uh, she just recently did, let's uh, see, um, HUB, baby fever, Krishan Mark confirms. So this is just her, you know, showing the baby bump. She's probably about to drop any day now, but she looks nice in the pictures. Let me see if I can see the latest pregnancy, um, before the baby comes. So well wishes, that's a concerning issue too. You know, her and Blueface get money just from acting a stone cold. It's so sad that people, the misery loves company. Being disrespectful, being inconsiderate, being rude gets people a check. Bravo does it all the time. So it's sad. Let's see, Krishan Rock confirms she's having a baby boy with Blueface. Congratulations. Okay, let's see. Um, they're basically trying to say um, uh, Karuchi and Miss Iko, they kind of mistake them for each other. That's what I be saying. Just because two women look alike, that don't mean they are the same. But the biggest thing is we know Karuchi dated Chris Brown after whole Rihanna situation. And unfortunately, Karuchi went through some of the same stuff, which is sad. Chris, bright young gentleman, very talented, but he can't, he's not good with being respectful to women. That's concerning. And then we know Miss Aiko is dating uh, Big Sean. They've been doing pretty good. I think her first baby daddy was a trip, but yeah. I can see it, but then I can see why people would say, you know, their hair is, you know, I don't know. This is, this was just a, a topic. Uh, Beyonce wants silver at her tour. And then people are saying, say less. Now, are you going to the Beyonce concert? Would you attend a Beyonce concert? And if so, what city did you attend? And will you be attending the concert? Let's get to this. Miley Cyrus recalls Beyonce and Rihanna treating her like a sister. I've been told that, you know, Beyonce is pretty cool. I just heard a video of somebody saying Beyonce is not allowed to go to different restaurants, certain restaurants. I always wonder why we don't see her out and about a lot. But I just saw her at a restaurant. I did. I don't know what, what tour city she was at, but it was just, I just saw a clip. That's so funny. Um, Charlemagne, the guy was talking about 10 years ago. They asked Rihanna, I'm not Rihanna, Beyonce not to go to a lot of restaurants because allegedly 
it became chaos and mayhem. But she should be able to go to a different restaurant and just go towards the back. Even if it's for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? She's that famous that they're allegedly trying to say. I wish I had the clip. I wish I had the clip. Let me see if it's in here or if it's in my other phone. But yeah, um, Beyonce's tour allegedly is doing really good. So congratulations to her regarding that. Um, no, it's not on here. But yeah, let's see if there's another topic. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel.